What's good guys, 12th Nation back today, and this video is going to be all about the legend that is Tom Brady and his new 99 Super Bowl MVP card. Let's check out his stats first. When I first saw them, my eyes widened like a freaking dramatic lemur. If you guys haven't seen that, just look up dramatic lemur. You guys are missing out, but it was 6.50 in the morning, went, completed his sets, and then look at his amazing stats. Move over, Otto Graham. My face was just like Tom Brady's in the picture, my freaking jaw hanging wide open. I'm going to say these stats in disbelief. 98 throw power, 100 throw accuracy short, 99 mid, and 97 deep. I'm so glad I sold John Elway when I did, because I still got a million for him, but now he's going for way less. I should have sold Autogram too, because he only goes for around 250k now, but I didn't realize how good this Tom Brady was going to be because I didn't think he played that amazingly well. But before I get into that, let's talk about the new team pickups. We got a new offensive guard, spent a buttload on Clint Bowling, got him in a bid war for f oh, a little over 500k, but I'm happy with the stats, solid player. So glad to have a better offensive guard. And despite all the inflation and all the prices for elites going down. Surprisingly, players on the offensive line have gone up. John Azamo used to be 60k, and now I think I sold him for 200k. So that's pretty sweet. But we also picked up Levante David just this afternoon for 70k. He flew under my radar. I'd never really checked out his stats before, but I was pretty surprised at how good his stats were. You guys hear me bragging about Alec Ogletree and how underrated he is. But Levante David is definitely solid. So glad I found him. James Harrison is now my 3-4 linebacker because he really isn't that good. So I don't need him to play every down. I threw Tracy Porter into the lineup and got rid of Joe Hayden. Not amazing stats, but still good stats. Can't complain. But haven't really played with him, so I don't know if he gets burned or not. But... Let's talk a little bit about the Super Bowl. And let's talk about it over some Team 49 gameplay. I already started it, but then I realized that I could use it in this video. So bear with me with that. But I'm not really going to talk about the last play because I don't think there's anything for me to say. All my friends have been asking me like what I think about it. And I'm going to tell you guys what I told everyone. The rookie on the Patriots made a good play, and we made a not-so-good play, and I'm going to leave it at that. So let's talk about the man of the year, though, Tom Brady. He had a good game. I think statistically one of the best of certainly his postseason career. 37 for 50, over 300 yards, four touchdowns, but also two picks. Granted, he was playing against the best defense in the league. Let's see how good Brady's quarterback sneak is. Well, it's against this team of the week. And you fumble. Brady. Awful. Against his old his own team. Come on, man. I don't think I've ever had a quarterback fumble on a quarterback sneak. So that's not a very good start, but yo, Crosby. Legatron. Make him the new Legatron. But like I was saying, he was playing against the best defense in the league, but here's where I have an issue. Tom Brady didn't make any outstanding plays. He threw quick short passes, and he let his wide receivers go to work. So there's nothing wrong with that. He obviously won the game, but why are you going to give someone these amazing throwing stats when he didn't throw any amazing passes? You know what I mean? And uh, an example that sticks out to me is Patriots were in the red zone. Edelman makes this sick play to lose our backup corner, Simon. He's butt naked in the end zone. Brady throws to him and misses. A 100 throw accuracy short to me, and I would assume to all you guys, means that you're flawless. And Tom Brady was not flawless in that game. So I don't know how the people behind Madden calculate stats, but if we're just looking at the Super Bowl alone, I don't think Tom Brady deserves these amazing throwing stats. I didn't see Tom Brady throw a lot of deep passes, so I don't think he deserves a 97 deep because I don't think he really executed that many deep passes in the Super Bowl at least I didn't really watch Patriots playoff games 
So I'm not going to suggest the stats they should have given him because I don't want to leak numbers out of my butthole, but I just don't think his stats make sense. And that's why I didn't sell Otto Graham for... Let me show you guys how to block punts like a stud with ET3. Is he going to waste... Oh, I might have been a little clumsy there, guys. But um, this Tom Brady makes Joe Montana look like a high school quarterback. And I didn't sell Otto Graham early because I didn't think he was going to be this good. So it's a sick card, though. I've really been enjoying using him. Looks sick, plays sick. But that's all I have for you guys today. Drop your two cents in the comments below and any suggestions for videos, for videos you guys have. Take it easy, 12th Nation. I'm out.